This is Shelton R Benjamin. This is Harley Race. This is Mick Foley. This is Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff. This is the Monster Abyss. This is Daniel Bryan. This is JBL, and you're watching the MWF. Be there live. Fans, welcome to our continued countdown to the 50th anniversary of the Cauliflower Alley Club in Las Vegas, Nevada. April 12th, it all kicks off. It's going to be happening. We need to get these fine gentlemen out. Today, as we continue our look back, oh, what do you got, Johnny? Are you going to show some of the options? No, 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 no. You know what? I'm looking at all this stuff you have around this place, and I think that we have some great stuff that you can see, at least it's on the table, and let's let people at least have a peek while we're talking. Don't eat now, I'll be coming up. Think I'm covering you up. <laughs> Today we're going to go back in time to a man, Tony, you must know very, very well. Fellow WWE Hall of Famer, the unpredictable one, Johnny Rods, an award presented by his students, Tommy Dreamer and Taz. Johnny Rods, when you first come, when, at, at, during the day, back in the late 70s, early, early 80s, the first wrestler you were wrestling in the WWE at that time, was the unpredictable one, Johnny Ross. And if you could stick with Johnny Ross, you had a job. But every wrestler, their first match during, during the 80s mm -hmm. was with Johnny Ross. And if you look all through all your tapes, every time somebody would do their, their debut in the WWE, it was Johnny Ross. He was a tester. Unbelievable. And I have to take a moment. Again, this is what it's like at the Cauliflower Rally Club Rewards. I go back to my first night in wrestling, October 23rd, 1993, in Wakefield, just up the street. Tony, you were featured on Tony Rumble's live event, The Iron Sheik. I met him for the first time right. at 13. That was an experience. But Tommy Dreamer and Taz were both on the show. Not the Tommy Dreamer you remember from ECW, but he did a stripper gimmick. And Taz right. was on the show. That's Taz right. was like a, the Tasmanian <coughs> devil. Right. That's right. He was face painted and yep. had almost like a... Right. Ugandan type and, look. Or he had a like brother that. that wrestled with him. Who was his brother? It, it was the same. They dressed the same way. It was two of them. I don't remember the brother. Yeah, yeah it was two of them. Yeah. Well, that that was a great memory in my life. Imagine being ninth grade in high school and being in the locker room yeah. with these greats. And another guy was the there business. too. Did you know? You know who Dreamer Partner was? Who? Tom Brandy. You who know, later became the Patriot. And yeah. later yep. became the Patriot. Then yep. he had another uh, Italian thing. Sal with the Salvatore Sincere. Uh, yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah, he was his partner. That, that was time. a it just I miss Tony That's Rumble right. every day. That's, He's a great yeah. man. Yeah. Unbelievable fans, let's go back in time. Cherry Hill, New Jersey. Let's get unpredictable with Johnny Rods. Okay, let's think of two more people right now. Uh, two more current residents. We have a Tommy Dreamer, so Taz. You just come up here. Of cauliflower alley club this and only day. It deals with everybody. Here we have two fine examples of current talent today, Taz and Tommy Dreamer, and they want to make a special presentation. First, don't hire anyone can follow Lou Albano, so thanks a lot, Lou. <laughs> um, so I guess I'm just gonna have to speak from my heart. Um, a lot of friends out there, you might not be too happy with some business, but uh, there's a lot of guys out there who still carry the old code. And as myself, we taught that old cool, and we try to instill it in a lot of the wrestlers that we meet and in the style that we do in ECW. And the man that taught Taz and myself and is instilling that code in wrestlers, Charles. Thank you guys. 
Vincent, George, Talib Ali Club, and all my friends here. And to all you know. Thank you very much. This is an honor. You deserve it, brother. Yep. Yeah. Mr. Hancock, for a long time. Thank you, Captain. That's what makes it really great when the student honors the teacher. I know I haven't met a lot before, but I would personally like to thank all of you who broke into us for the time. I know Dad, Pelican, and Mr. Harris George, for being there.